Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Cameron's empty gesture could spark a British rebirth EU warns Germany over Mercedes car coolant European Union package holiday rules brought into the 21st century EU gives Latvia green light for Euro membership Plus, draft amending budget number 1, 2013, expenditure related to the accession of Croatia to the EU. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. When David Cameron announced his conversion to a European referendum last January, the whole thing gave the impression of an unseemly, desperate and above all supremely irrelevant act of statesmanship. During the darkest hours of the Second World War, Sir Stafford Cripps, in an attempt to appease the mutinous Congress party, offered India dominion status once victory had been attained. Gandhi took one look and dismissed the offer as a post-dated check on a crashing bank. The Prime Minister's referendum promise felt very much like that at the time it was made. The possibility that Mr Cameron might survive the 2015 general election seemed remote. Any pledges about what he might or might not do afterwards were of academic interest. Well, I'm sorry, but Le Bon Premier, Chairman Cameron, is and has been blowing smoke all along. As we have revealed here at the unit time and time again, our ministers in Westminster are simply puppet mouthpieces for European Commission, and I cite just two examples. The gay marriage policy, not listed in the Conservative Manifesto, it is an EU directive of the Stockholm Programme, and in fact is actually part of the United Nations Agenda 21 programme agreed in Rio. And the step down on plain packs for cigarettes, touted in the UK press as a decision made in West Westminster? Cobblers. It was an amendment to the EU directive on tobacco advertising, which the EU retrenched only just days before the announcement. To coin the words of Chairman Cameron himself, <laughs> liars, cheats and gadflies. The European Commission has warned Germany it faces possible action over Daimler's refusal to remove a banned refrigerant from new cars, after France moved to block most Mercedes sales within its borders. France has halted registrations of non-compliant Mercedes models. The EU executive also confirmed on Tuesday the latest sign of tension between Germany and its European partners over the direction of the auto industry policy and regulation. Gone are the days when package holidays were booked from a brochure at a travel agent's, so EU laws protecting travellers need to be updated as well. Malcolm Harbour, MEP, and Robert Zeil, MEP, said today in response to European Commission proposals to update rules for package holidays. Mr Harbour, Chairman of the European Parliament's Consumer Protection Committee, and Robert Zeil, European Conservatives and Reformists Group, Transport and Tourism Spokesman, welcomed the package which gives travellers stronger cancellation rights, clear information on liability to stop organisers and retailers passing responsibility back and forth, and a single point of contact in every travel agency for complaints. So folks, keep in mind that if you're planning to visit Benidorm or the Costa del Bankrupt this summer, the witless kleptocrats have been working hard to swaddle your travel agent in red tape, ramping up prices and all in the name of protecting you, the consumer. Economy and finance ministers from the 28 European Union countries gave the final green light to Latvia on Tuesday to join the Eurozone on January the 1st, 2014. ECOFIN has taken the final decision approving Latvia's Euro membership from 2014. The EU's current Lithuanian presidency announced via its Twitter account. Yes, we are joining the Euro as of January 1st next year, said Prime Minister Valdis Dombrovski, adding that it was good news not only for Latvia, but also for Europe and the Eurozone. <laughs> I wonder what evidence Mr Dombrovski has to support that statement. 
Whilst the countries in the South starve and go homeless, our bureau befuddled kleptocrats splash the cash on Croatia's ascension to the EU. This legislative re- report states it is proposed that there should be an increase of 655.1 million euros in commitments and 374 million euros in payments for Croatian ascension. The report mentions with some regret that this amending budget has been kept separate from the ongoing political inter-institutional debate on how to settle the issue of outstanding payments from 2012. Furthermore, the report again expresses regret that there have been such significant delays in the process of this agreement. This has been as a consequence of actions of the Council, who took time to adopt its position, and furthermore, the difficulty with which the Council had on reaching an agreement on the revision, which led to the delay in the availability for the funding of Croatia, which is due as of 1st of July 2013. Today in our video library, always wanting to end on a high note, I wanted to promote and to press upon you the work we have done with our documentary, Betrayed. Foreign and Commonwealth Office document 301048 is a damning piece of text which clearly sets out the advice given to ministers back in 1971, clearly stating the intent of this closet tyrannical imperialists in Brussels. As the documentary progresses, you are left with only one conclusion, that the ministers at the time had to have been complicit in the deceit of the British people. Links to the video are below. Well, the nightly news will be closing down for the European Parliamentary recess. The team and I have had such a lot of constructive feedback, as well as some critical comments too, but personally I've enjoyed enormously writing and presenting the nightly news, but I could not have done any of it without the fine work and dedication of our team. So, a massive thanks must go out to John Wise and Dr Julia Reed, our researchers, Andrew Fear, my partner in crime and dedicated webmaster, Sue Doidge, PA and administrator. None of what we have achieved so far at the unit would have been possible if it had not been for the vision, persistence and dedication of Trevor Coleman, MEP. So, what next, you ask? Well, we're going to be using the recess as a time to implement a whole series of improvements, both to the website and the nightly news. As always, we would really love to get your input and anything you'd like to see us doing, well, we'd really like you to let us know about it. The nightly news and the new features will return on Monday the 2nd of September when I will have a special show introducing you to what's new in the show, the news and the website. We will be maintaining our daily news feeds on the website theunit.com with all the key news from the European Union. Here's a final thought for you. When we stand alone, we are isolated and vulnerable. Together we are strong and united. The Bible says that the Lord of Righteousness stands with us when we stand together. Matthew chapter 18 verses 19 and 20. Jesus said, Again truly I tell you, that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there am I with you. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page, 
Abeluk.